Hi and welcome to CDR Guru. A lot of people are still using CorelDRAW X5 on Windows 10 and while it seems to work okay there are a few quirks. The most noticeable quirk is that the menu bar at the top here is invisible. Even if you use shortcuts or you know more or less where everything is this can be annoying. In this video I'm going to show you how a simple workaround can solve this problem. The workaround is to create a new toolbar with the same items as the original menu bar. By holding Ctrl and Alt down and clicking and dragging a tool it makes a copy of that tool and it'll drop it onto any location you want. If I were to drag and copy the pick tool and drop it onto the menu bar, it would duplicate the pick tool into the new location. In this instance, we want to create a new toolbar. So instead of dropping the tool onto existing toolbar, we'll drop it onto the workspace. So holding Control and Alt down, we click and drag the file menu item and drop it at the bottom here into the tool space, into the workspace. The problem that we see immediately here is that this just shows a funny little envelope icon. This icon is shown when an item does not have an icon. It's a default no icon icon. So the way to fix that is to click on Options or Control J, open up Workspace, expand Customization and go to Command Bars. This new toolbar at the bottom here is the one that we just created. So we click on that, we click on this drop down on the side here, default button appearance and change it to caption only. Immediately see the change, it changes it to the word file with a little down arrow. That's great. While we're here, we will rename it to menu bar redux. And then press OK to save and exit. OK, so there we have our new toolbar with file on it. So now it's just a matter of holding control, holding alt and picking up edit, dropping it on there and there we have our shiny new menu bar redux with visible menu items. Now at this point you've got a couple of options you can either hide the existing toolbar by unchecking this here and replacing it with our menu bar redux However, that has got some repercussions in the fact that if you were to have a look at these words, you would see that that's, there's an underlined letter in each one. Those are your ALT shortcuts. So for example, if I was to press ALT F, it would open up the file menu. And ALT any one of these other shortcuts. Now this is like a drill down. So in other words, if we go arrange, align and distribute, and align and distribute here, this here opens up the align and distribute window. If I were to press and hold Alt and press A three times, it brings up the same window. So that's a handy shortcut to know. But if I were to hide this toolbar, that would no longer work. The other option is just to have them both displayed and move this toolbar over and that in itself is easy enough. We right click, uncheck the lock toolbars, you'll see that they're unlocked by these little dots on the end. Pick up our current menu bar, drag it and drop it on top of the current toolbar. You see there, it's moved our invisible one over to the side and our visible one is over here. So all of these things now are now available with a click of the mouse and all of these are available for use on the shortcut. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, please like it and share it. And please visit our webpage cdrguru.com for a step-by-step -step layout of this guide. Thanks for watching.